Welcome back to the bench. Okay, so a quick and dirty one again. I'm trying to catch up a lot of videos that I had in my head, so they're not going to be as clean as I'd like them to be, but we're just going to get right to it. So I was uh, cruising around my my neighborhood uh, hazardous uh, harbor freight when I came across this, uh, and just like I normally do, I walked in bit a couple of bits since uh, 45 minutes to an hour later I was uh, dragging myself to the checkout uh, so that I didn't buy the whole store um, out in the field you occasionally run into an issue where you need to find where a wire has gone uh, and it's a similar color to the other wires sometimes coated with things that are gross and disgusting and you don't have access to both ends of the wire so you can't just take a continuity test with a multimeter you actually have to uh, figure out another way of doing it and this is something that's been some things like this have been around for a long time sometimes they called a sniffer or a fox and hound or or they refer to them as different things but essentially what it is is it's a cable tracker um, and it's a transmitter uh, coupled with basically a way to amplify a signal so in this case I've already got this kind of set up because I want to try and make this quick uh, all we need to do is hook a wire to one of our probes, and it'll actually export on either one of them. And we can send a signal through the wire so that when it disappears off into the device that we're working on or whatever, we can use our sniffer to find the wire. Now, this was $23 on the shelf. Uh, I'm, I'm mixed. I don't know how I feel about this. Again, usually I don't do these with a recommendation or a non-recommendation. I just say, okay, this is what I do uh, or used it for. This is how it worked for me. I think the battery goes pretty quick on this, and there's some annoying things about it. It's definitely showing the fact that it's cheap. Now, does it export a signal? Yes. As a matter of fact, it exports to a dual, a dual tone, um, which you'll hear, and it's quite annoying. And it does have a means of amplification, but it doesn't have any way of filtering, so you get a lot of hiss, a lot of noise. Uh, it's 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 almost aggressive. And the other thing is, a lot of the times the wires that we're tracking, they're not signal wires, which is kind of good because you can actually get the signal to bleed out of the wire, where if it's a shielded wire, you probably have a little bit more difficulty with that. Uh, but you lose a lot of, to, uh, of signal to attenuation. It's just it goes away. Uh, and the other thing is the battery starts to drain on this fairly quickly, so you don't have a whole lot of time to find your wire. If you're planning on standing around sniffing for a cable for 10 minutes, you're going to be sadly disappointed. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and just give you a quick demonstration of how it works. And what I've done is I've hooked it up to this red wire, which is disappearing off of the bench. Excuse me and comes back underneath this pile of wires to just kind of simulate, eh, you know, a little bit like what you might find in a real world. And uh, I'll go ahead and turn this on first. So this is on this little scroll wheel on the side. It's got a on off switch and then you scroll to increase the, the uh, gain. Um, so, and then you actually have to press the button when you're ready to test, but we don't have our signal turned on yet. So let's go ahead and turn on our signal. And we've got the little red indicator that'll show us that we have a signal that's being sent out. And I did verify that with an oscilloscope. We do have about a one kilohertz signal. Not on the money, but close enough for government work. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit right here. Ready? Not sure if you can hear that or not. Let's go ahead and turn it up. Yeah. Well, look at that. It's already pretty much dead. So this is after a little bit of testing. Uh, let's let's just try, just for grins and giggles, we'll, we'll try the other connector. It's supposed to export on both. And this was working. I tried it a few times. Kind of got a feel for how it worked. And that's just really nothing more than annoying at this point. So this far down the wire, yeah, it's already dead. Already dead. So you can kind of hear it in there, but not not the way it was. Just flat out annoying. Um, look, I, this sometimes will happen. 
this thing was working but not well and I wasn't impressed with it and I'll tell you what I did I, I used it on a tea brewer that I was working on it's a big industrial type tea brewer has a lot of wiring inside of it and I just uh, there were two choices of wires I could have very easily tried to follow the wires with a flashlight uh, and I thought you know what no I got this stupid little thing I'll give it a quick check and I noticed that as I was probing uh, it 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 was real difficult to tell what wire you were actually that's what I kind of wanted to demonstrate was that it, it seemed like the further you got from that source which that makes sense the further you get from the signal source the weaker it got um, and it didn't actually go that far it was about maybe eight to ten inches of wire before the signal had just degraded so much that it was just not even usable and that was with brand new batteries uh, that tested good. Uh, I actually I tested them with a multimeter, uh, nine volt, and it runs on two nine volt batteries. Which nine volt batteries are? Yes. So the point I guess is is it will check for continuity in a wire if you stick. Uh, I guess we could try that real real quick. Let's uh, let's take our wire and check for continuity. See if that does anything. Try and do this without bumping into the microphone. So there we go. See it lit up green. It's showing that there is continuity on the wire. But again, that's only really useful one. I mean, I carry a multimeter in my pocket all the time, uh, even just a small one. So I don't really need this function. But and it, it only works when the wires are close enough together so you can do it this way. The idea behind this sniffer is that you can track the wire, number one. The other thing is if you had a long section of wire like this, where it would break, uh, let's say that, uh, excuse me, let's say that in our wire, uh, somewhere, sorry, Mr. Microphone, uh, somewhere in this wire, there was a break. Well, the idea behind this is we inject the signal on this side, we follow it with a sniffer, and then all of a sudden that signal will, tone will drop off, and when it does, we can assume that our break would be somewhere along here in the wire. Uh, but this signal so degraded even with pretty decent battery power it's just almost useless there's definitely different uh, I, again I don't recommend or not recommend things I'm I'm saying in this case it's to me not worth it um, save another 20 or 30 bucks and get something that's a little bit better this thing just it, it just there's too many problems with it it, it sacrifices battery power uh, it's real easy to forget to turn these things off. There's no timeout. You know, you would you kind of want something like that when you're going to use a circuit like this, where it's going to eat up a lot of battery. So, uh, and at this point, I haven't done any real troubleshooting to determine whether or not it's the transmitter that's getting weak. I feel like it is, uh, or if it's uh, just this thing's inability to to amplify uh, the signal inside of it. It could be either one. So they they work independently for a nine volt battery. Look, if this thing worked well. For 23 bucks, it would absolutely, for me, be worth it. But it just, it's just, it's just dropping the ball. So if the reason that you looked this video up is because you saw this thing sitting on the shelf and you thought, oh man, I can do this for X, Y, and Z, I would submit. Now you're probably not going to be real happy with it. Uh, you know, I, I would save up a few bucks and buy something a little bit better. And I hate to say that because I do like the cheap stuff at Harbor Freight. I, I, the, uh, I, I think I'm their number one customer locally. Uh as a matter of fact, I have a, a problem. I have a meeting. I'm in a 12-step program for, uh, for Harbor Freight. I'm not proud of it, but it happens. So, Okay, well, that's that's it. We're not going to break this thing down any further. Maybe at some point if I make any modifications or get some stuff figured out, I'll put up another video. But for right now, there you go. There's the Sentec, uh, uh cable tracker uh, sender and receiver. Uh, that's that's my review in a nutshell is... Uh, it's a, it's a big no. It's going to be a hard nope from me, bro. So, all right. Uh, until the next video, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, uh, and, and uh, don't mimic the monkey.